Um, it's exciting for me. Obviously, we, whether you're a player or a coach, you want to be in the National Hockey League. And um, last year was um, not sure what to expect. This year, I know a little bit of what to expect. I know the players a little bit better. Um, and yeah, but uh, again, uh, I'm excited to be here. And uh, just hopefully, hopefully, the team plays as well as they did last year. Do you, do you expect us to? Uh work as it did last year, you basically have channeling um, Galant rather than channeling Quinn. I mean, is that, and talk to him today about what you want, you know, what he expects, the line combinations, whatever, or is it a little bit different this year? No, it's, it's very similar. Everything's in plan, or in place, obviously, you know, all the work that goes into the, um, the you know, a, a pre-scout is done many days, if not a week before, beforehand getting ready to play the team and you look in their systems and you get a game plan and that's all all done and then you know I get the call yesterday and you know that's all ahead of or already already set so you know I got here um, late last night I saw the coaching staff here this morning I talked to Gallant on the phone just talked about some line stuff but um, as for line combinations the power plays and all that situ or all those situations are all, all set and they're just communicating to me and I just try and um, make sure they go run as smoothly as possible you you have more guys from Hartford here I think uh, than you did last year um, so might might you be tempted to lean on some of these guys you know them really well they played you know very well for you this year you know them a lot better than the Rangers coaching staff does. Is that a possibility? Um, no, I, I think, um, you know, I watched the game against Anaheim, and, um, you know, I was very proud of that line, the way they played. But uh, I think they were used, um, you know, nine, ten and a half minutes, which is quite a bit for a fourth line. And, you know, I don't see myself using them more than that. And hopefully they can play and, you know, contribute the way they did last game. But, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I, Things have been going very well for the Rangers, and obviously they're doing. Turk's been doing a heck of a job, and I just don't want to disrupt that at all. How much do you, you know, from Hartford pay attention to what they're doing? Like, I mean, do you feel like you have to be aware of what they're doing in case you get the call like that? Um, well, I think um, last year um, I watched more hockey than I ever had, especially the Rangers, uh, just because of COVID. They were playing, we weren't. Um, we played maybe one game a week, and you know they obviously they're playing three, sometimes four, four games a week. Um, so, you know, I was very prepared, and knew their team well. I thought, um, and the same this year, just because of our schedule, we're playing a little more games. But anytime we have a day off, we're not playing that night. You know, watching the games, and also we're familiar with the systems just because we we talk. Going into camp, um, coaches meet together, the Hartford staff, the Rangers staff, and we go over systems. And we try and match up our systems as much as possible. So, you know, I think there's – I'm familiar with all the systems, uh, which is a benefit for a situation like this. But mostly we're doing it for our players that are called up, you know, Johnny Brzezinski, Gettinger, um, Jones, you know, those guys are in Hartford the whole time. So when they come up, there's a, <clears throat> a lot of pressure for those guys to play well. Um, it just takes a little bit of a burden off of them to, to be able to play when they're not giving a new new um, system. With you, you talking to Glenn prior to this, and you guys spent a decent amount of time sort of getting to know each other, like you feel like you know what he wants, what his system is, all that stuff pretty well? Yeah, during uh, training camp, uh, we spent um, three, maybe four weeks together. Um, before the Rangers rookie camp, Hartford staff got together, and I think we spent uh, three days just going over systems. And then we were there for the entire training camp. So, you know, we spent a lot of time together talking about hockey and what each what they want in certain situations. So, yeah, I feel we're we're on the same page. You, you said you flew last night. Long way to travel to, to get here. How did the whole day unfold for you yesterday? Um, we were in Utica on Saturday night, um, traveled home, got home about 3 in the morning, and then um, it was a day off. And then I got a phone call, you know, sometime in the afternoon saying, it's looking like you're, 
get on travel and you meet up with the team. Just pack your bags and get ready, and we'll confirm it, and we'll see if we can get a flight. And I left Hartford, um, I think it was about 7.30 that night, and got into L.A. Uh, about 2.30 last night. Um, a little bit, a little bit, but uh, that's uh, life of um, coach. Um, you know, we're traveling a lot, looking at video, and sometimes after, usually after a bad game, we get even less sleep. <laughs>